Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of Ark Survival Evolved. In today's video what I want to do is I want to work on building up a new area for to breed the dinos. And you may notice that we're in some sort of snow here, but I'm not going to show you quite yet. So before we get into the video everyone, if you think you're going to enjoy what I do here, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps me out and if you're looking for more ways to help the channel out, you can always recommend my channel to a friend who might enjoy it. So let's get straight into the video. So everyone, the area that we're at is actually the snow cave here on Crystal Isles. Now, it is located right around here on the map, and if you want some GPS coordinates, they're right here. So this is the GPS, and this is the map location. Now, this isn't the entrance of it. Uh, the entrance, There's actually a ton of entrances to this cave. But this cave, dinos and structures do not get removed. Like, I don't know if any other cave does this, but if we come over here, you see I have a large cliff platform. And then I also have one of the tamed Rexes that we got a couple of videos ago. And so, it's not even down that much health, but you see, the foundations don't decay, the, the creatures stay here. Now, the only thing I haven't tested is if it's safe to log out, which I would assume that it is. And there are absolutely no hostile creatures in this part of the cave. And now, if we come straight over here, the artifact should be, like, right here. <laughs> so, this is the one artifact cave on this map, which, yeah, the artifact is right here. You know what? I'm going to grab another one of these because I just want to start working on getting a large supply of them. Because decorating is always nice with artifacts. But, basically, I wanted to be building inside this cave because it's... It should be cold enough that no eggs can actually hatch, which is the biggest issue because snow owl eggs would actually hatch at the base, which is why I, w uh, I don't even know what the mutation stack for the yeah, which is why we only have three mutations on the snow owls and a ton on the rexes. But so we have a large cliff platform here, and my plan is to make this the kind of like central workshop for this area, and then have the rexes over there on breed or any other creature really. What was that? There's anything in here, is there? No. But anyways, guys, I'm going to work on designing up something for this. It's probably just going to be building up the walls around it. So while I do that, I'm going to roll some clips of us taming a Daedon. Uh, so everyone, we have this 174 Daedon right here, and I'm not, I don't actually have any plans to tame one, but I figured that we might as well. It's a 174. It's nearly max level. We'll probably go for one um for a boss fight i'm not sure <laughs> like because i'm not sure how the how what the crystal isles boss fight is and i know that if we're going to be doing boss fights on other maps we'll probably want to day it on for like the dragon fight <laughs> um on the island but I'm, I'm not really sure about this map but i figured you know what it's 174 we might as well tame it so i'm just going to bring it over here and then we'll be back Okay, so we're just going to drop it. It is still here. Yeah. We're just going to drop it into this taming pen. And I've... That went in. So, if you're curious where the entrance to our cave is, it, it, the, one, the one that I've been using is just right here. Now, our base is right there on that plateau it's deloaded right now now while i'm going back in here to finish up the last few things that i need to do with this i need to show you guys um some clips of us taming some uteranus because we tamed three females now we're only going to be using two of them however we don't have any high level males and i don't want to tame any low level ones just because it's really not worth it and it'd be a pain to breed the high level stats in and so, <laughs> basically, what I need to do is, I need to find some more high-level Uteranus. So I'll probably be doing that in between clips in this video, and then we'll start breeding them, maybe, in this video. If not, definitely in the next video, or between videos. So, um, yeah, Verna, I'm going to roll a clip of us taming up some Uteranus right now. Okay, so everyone, I think I've 
managed to actually bring everything that I need this trip. Now, I do need to make sure that... Okay, that will not be enough. What if we put the gloves on? Okay. So, the cave isn't actually that cold, and in this area, we really don't even need it need any of the fur because of these two air conditioners here but we're gonna have them anyways now because most of the dinos are gonna actually be over on this side i think we should have the feeding trough here but i do need to show the feeding range uh so you know that kind of sucks Although, I was thinking of maybe increasing the feeding trough range. So, actually, guys, I have found Eden, our original RG. And, um, <laughs> I was going around looking for Uterinus on this guy, actually. And there were some damage numbers. And I'm like, what, what is out here that I can see the damage numbers for it? And it turns out that somehow Eden had been dragged, <laughs> like, all the way over to a ravine somehow I, I must have left it and i must have left it there somehow i don't know how it was either that or it was like knocked all the way over there but so it was she eden was down a few thousand health so we still have eden too but it has higher weight and i've been using it to gather stone but i i found it i'm like what <laughs> it was very it's, it's very confusing so, you know what, we're going to place this here, show the range, and then I'm just going to pull four berries. I don't remember what type of berry. Okay, we brought azul berries, and then raw meat, which should be no problem here. <laughs> the raw meat should, I mean, one, I brought seven, nearly 8,000, but two, we're just going to be killing a ton of baby dinos over here, and it should be no problem. So, we just need to pick up... This wyvern, and sun colored is not the name of it, it's just that because I prefer using that wyvern, so we're just gonna be using that wyvern. And so I named it sun colored just so I could know which one it is. So now guys, I think I'm gonna take the dodic out here. Okay everyone, so here um, you can see this little perimeter thing. This is actually for the newborn auto trap, or newborn trap thing in the soul terminal. Now all we need to do is give this uh, give this some soul balls, and it will actually pick up any newborns within this radius. Now this is the this is lowered a little bit because yeah, we it doesn't need to be 15 foundations, but then pick up all of them, and we don't want that smaller. So I think that is way too small. So what if we go four? Now, we can always change it if we have more creatures. However, I did that just so that we can go over here and be able to fit another one. Now, I don't actually think that we'll have <laughs> the mod. Let's, let's make this visible. Let's bring this down to four. And let's enable it just so we can check. And so these don't overlap. So we can actually make this one bigger. So you know what? We might as well do that. So we'll just make this one, say, four five and then bring it down if it doesn't you know can this one be five what is this one set to <laughs> 4.6 if we make this one five perfect they don't overlap so basically now we just need to turn them off of visible so just go visible and we do this for this one and now we can have two two sets of creatures that basically don't lay eggs and then we can have creatures that lay eggs over there, and then creatures that don't lay eggs that, that don't lay eggs over here, and then their babies will automatically be picked up. However, this one does need a few more, a few soul traps, so give it 150. And now, if I come over here, you'll notice that we have three soul terminals. I just name these perfect stats, and then mutations and breeding sets. So these will be basically once we're done breeding, say the rexes, we'll be able to bring them over. Now, I did forget something earlier, which I have now: the rex saddles. <laughs> So those are kind of kind of important. So I'm gonna go put those on, and we'll start the rex breeding now. Okay, everyone. And the reason that we have two hatcheries here is that we could have two sets of egg laying creatures breeding at once. And so what we'd basically do is we'd go here to say the second hatchery, and go to add to blacklist, and we could go fertilize rex eggs. And then basically, now I'm curious if we add. Okay, so it has to have stuff in its inventory, and you can't drag stuff there. So I'm, I am thinking we might want to do some aloe breeding, but I don't think I have 
good enough stats on the aloes to want to really do that. And aloes are common enough that I should be able to find some, <laughs> find some more. So I'll, I'll, we'll probably wait for a little while for that. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna do a few more things around here. I'll bring you back. So, everyone, out of all of the Daedons here that I've tamed, it's like what five, seven Daedons. These two <laughs> have the highest of the stats that we want. Now, on Daedons, what you really want is you want health and food. However, because we we could be doing boss fights with other people and they may be riding Daedons. We'll go for the stamina as well. So this guy has the highest stamina and health. And this guy has the highest food and then the higher weight out of the two. So we'll just get that one in as well. Which means he can just hold more food in his inventory. So you see this guy has 16,000 food right on the little um, thing from the soul trap there. And it's very interesting how these... Like, one in here has higher... Like seven... Pretty sure there's one in, yeah, 760 weight, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. And we could go for a higher melee, which out of here is 519. So yeah, it really seems that there's two Daedons here that have the good stats. A third if you're going for the weight. But basically, there's just two Daedons, which makes this actually quite a bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to try out these soul traps auto soul trap stations so we're just going to throw these daedons out here uh, like to this daedon please and then get rid of those and so this w so basically we just need to go enable mating on both of these guys and they should breed up and we should get some of the some of their babies in here in the soul terminal. So now I'm going to work on building this area up a little more, see if there's anything else I need to add, and basically just let the Rexes and Daedons breed up, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done with that. Okay, everyone, so I'm here on Ragnarok trying to tame this 180 Uteranus, and I've been I've spent probably an hour and a half to two hours looking already, and I got a panicked when I saw it, because I wasn't sure if anything was around, and its Carnos were dead. It had no Carnos, and I'm like, uh, you know what, it could... There could be something after it, and so... Can you please come through here? Oh, you know what? Where did I... Right here. I need the, I need all the stuff. And now I'm encumbered. Okay, so... Basically, all I need to do is just get this Uteranus to come inside here, and so I'll do that right now. Oh, okay, so it's in. The Uteranus is in. Now, what we need to do... Is I need to take my Wyvern back out. <laughs> and... Then I need to unencumber myself by basically just giving it all of the raw meat <laughs> and all the other stuff that I took from its body. And oh, we have so much junk. But basically, I've been searching for hours and hours and hours trying to find a decent level male Uteranus. Gavron, okay, so these are the current stats for the Rexes. We have 10 health and 12 melee mutations. Um, when fully imprinted, they do 908% melee damage and 21.8k health, which is quite a bit. And what I've been doing is I've been pumping 12 levels into the health to get it to 51.8k. And then the rest, I'm just putting into damage. Now, I'm... I've leveled 18 or 19 Rexes so far to level 380, um, and basically what I've been doing is I've just been breeding for mutations on the Uteranus and the Rexes, it's just that the Rexes take an eternity to get a single mutation that's actually useful, uh, so it takes an eternity to get a normal mutation, but that's fine. But I have started breeding the Uteranus up, I did have a clip about talk that was talking about that, but it was slightly too long and this one's going slightly over the time so i'm gonna do this quick so if you look over here at the uterinus we have three health and one stamina mutation now i do want to try to get some more stamina mutations and maybe even some more health like honestly five and five on each might be deep good because like they don't need to be fighting they just need to be courage roaring the rexes which makes them do nearly as much damage as they'll do when you're riding them imprinted but not quite as much as like done so we've also got three health and one food mutations on the daedons here so the health is 9.7k and then the food is 17k and i do want some more food food mutations but it's just 
And so, I mean, yeah, the Rexes are actually pretty powerful. I think they do uh, just over 2k when you're not riding them. I haven't actually tested it, but considering the fact they do nearly 3k when you're riding them, I would assume that it's close to 2k when you're not riding them. And now, this guy does need another 19 levels to be to the point where I'm getting all the other Rexes, but it, it's, it's, it's taken a while, but I think it's worth it. But anyways, guys, I do think I'm going slightly over the remaining time I have for this video. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you enjoy what I do here, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you're looking for more ways to help out the channel, um, recommending me my channel to a friend really does help. And if you enjoy this video more than other videos, uh, maybe consider leaving it a like rating. It really does help in uh, YouTube ranking. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and, let's, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.